Hey guys, it's Will here in Barcelona, Spain for Mobile World Congress. We want to talk to you about Tegra4i, our first integrated LTE chip, and Phoenix, our Tegra4i reference phone. I'm here with Mike Hahn. He's a Tegra4i product manager. He's going to tell us a little bit about the technologies involved. Mike, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. It's great to be at MWC. Right on. So, we've got uh, Tegra4i, we've got Phoenix. Let's talk a little bit about Tegra4i. Well, Tegra4i is uh, our newest addition to the Tegra4 family. It's our quad-core integrated LTE mobile processor aimed uh -huh. at the mainstream market. Great. So we've been talking about Phoenix and we've been getting some feedback that uh, people want to see Phoenix. Yeah, so this is Phoenix. This is our customer reference platform that we provide to OEMs. Mm -hmm. We give them all the design material so that they can take it and essentially kick off their design so that they can take um, you know, a short cycle to produce new products based off Tegra 4i. So what we have here is a 5-inch display with 1920 by 1200 full HD resolution. We also have a front-facing camera. All the sensors you expect from a premium smartphone, like ambient light sensor and all the proximity sensors. We have volume adjustments on the side. We have two stereo speakers on the back with a 13 megapixel camera and dual LED flashes. We have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a mini HD display port, and micro USB port, all in an eight millimeter thin package. Great, so speaking of that camera there, one of the things we're talking about with the Tegra 4 family is our Chimera computational photography architecture. Uh, what is that exactly? That's right, so this computational photography architecture leverages the performance of our GPU and CPU, and it enables such features like our always-on HDR and our object tracking that we call tap to track. Uh-huh, so basically we're delivering lag-free instant HDR photos with no motion artifacting because we're taking it with, what, one frame, right, versus two frames for most HDR solutions? Exactly. It's all in real time, so there's no motion artifacting, and we can apply it to video and, you know, panoramics. And uh, the tap track feature does random object tracking instead of just face tracking? That's right. So you can actually pick an object, it can go in and out of focus, and the camera itself will track to that and adjust things as need be. Okay, so let's demonstrate some of the uh, power of Tegra 4i in Phoenix. Sure, let me show you a game first. So what I'm playing here is Real Boxing, one of our Tegra's own titles. As you can see, real high frame rates, real fluid motion, showing off the performance of our Tegra 4i GPU. Now let's look at a 1080p video. Sure. Okay. So what you're seeing here is a 1080p video being displayed at full HD resolutions. Most phones today are only 720p, but Tegra 4i is going to bring 1080p displays to the mainstream. Great, so that's a 1080p video on a 1080p screen. Looks awesome. Mike, thanks for showing us. Thanks for having me. So that was a quick look at uh, the Phoenix Tegra 4i reference phone and a little bit about the Tegra 4i technologies involved. Keep track of everything that NVIDIA is doing at Mobile World Congress by going to nvidia.com slash MWC 2013.